it's Kenji. I'm here again at my restaurant, Worst Hall. Today we are actually open for business. Um, and I thought because my sous chef Eric is downstairs making sausage right now, um, that this would be a cool experience for everyone to see how the sausage gets made. So um, I'll take you down there. Hello, piggies. All right, we're going through to our prep kitchen. Hey, Eric. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. 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 Um, I thought we could show people um, how our sausage room is set up and how and how oh, sausage sure. is made. Yeah. So you're twisting links right now. I am. Yes. We're making porchetta today. So, okay. So uh, what's in there? So in porchetta, we've got uh, fennel, some uh, black, a lot of black pepper, fresh garlic, um, lemon, lemon zest, uh, and rosemary. So that's all in there. And Very cool. So right, why don't we go backwards? So you show us how you how you're how are you forming these? How are you turn, yeah. twisting these? So uh, there are many ways to twist sausage links. The one the way that that works best for us is by taking. So I twisted this link right, mm -hmm. um, and I take another length, the length that we need, and I just pinch here, mm -hmm. and then take it and twist it. So you, you basically you're twisting every other link exactly so that so that the twists end up mm -hmm. actually going in alternate directions exactly that way when one of them starts to untwist it doesn't untwist all of them yep and you can like twist you can twist one direction and then another direction yeah but uh, if you're doing this if you want to work quickly um, and efficiently the, the best way in most circumstances is to twist this way right very cool and so I like to coil it like this and then when we cut the links I just kind of go the opposite direction and mm -hmm. put them on trays. Got it. Okay. And so, so these are these are the trays. Yes. Of sausages. Um, we yes. make eight different types of sausages here. Yeah. Um, all of them get cooked upstairs in the CVAP ovens, which you saw in our other video. Um, they get cooked to 135. Is that what we set them at? 140. 140. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then we finish them off on the on the on the flat top. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you yeah. want to show us? Can you show us now the stuff the uh, the stuffer? Yes. How, how the sausage gets Absolutely. into those links. All right. Uh, okay, so we've got here. Do we want to? Well, let's work oh, backwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah let's go. Backwards. Let's go. The stuffer. That's right. Yeah. Um, so yes. Yeah, so we have here a piston style stuffer. Um, this is a manual one. You can also get ones that are electric. Mm -hmm. But we are very happy with this one. So there's uh, a there's a handle. There's yep. a hand crank with a um, I can't remember what these types of gears are called. Pinion. A worm gear and a pinion or something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. um, and then it pushes. The, it basically it's just a piston that pushes. Um, pushes the sausage down through here. Um, if you've made sausages at home using a meat grinder, like maybe a KitchenAid with an attachment, um, those have an auger that yes. that pushes forward. Um, a piston style stuffer is what you would want if you're really serious about sausage making and you want to make a lot of it because it, it gives you a lot more pressure um, and control and it also doesn't heat up the sausage mixture as much, which That's is right. important. And, and it also eliminates um, air. Air bubbles. So mm -hmm. yeah, air bubbles are, are something that I was struggling with when I first got into sausage making, and as soon as I knew I was somewhat serious about it, I invested in a very small. Right. Um, yeah. You can get you can get these stuff. in various sizes. Yeah. For under well under two hundred dollars, you can get a small one. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so sausage casing, which is yep. um, pork intestine, mm -hmm. um, it comes it comes on these. Um, so it comes all wrapped up and clean um, on these plastic uh, insertions, and you basically slide that over the end of the of the tube here and slide all the casing off. And then as it comes out, um, the sausage fills up the casing and you kind of feed it out with one hand while you crank with the other. Exactly, um, yeah. And that's the thing that if, you, if you're if you first starting out using two people, mm -hmm. it's easier than yes. doing it one-handed. Doing it one, one mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, yeah, practice it. Yeah. All right, so now right. let's get to the to, mixer. To the mixer, yes. Okay, so going uh, back in time. We've got a mixer here, and I'll just kind of pull it out for you. Um, so it's very important to mix sausage thoroughly before you stuff it. And so this contraption here can hold up to 50 pounds of sausage mm -hmm. at a time. And we actually hook it up to this motor here. So the motor, yeah, the, the grinder motor right. connects yeah. right into here, and that's what drives the um, those paddles around. That's right. Um, that mixes the sausage. Yeah, so it mixes together. While it's mixing, we add whatever liquid we're putting in uh, to the sausage. And your last, and your final seasonings. That's right. And then 
every batch we make we test mm -hmm. um, to make sure that the seasonings are right that the texture is right mm -hmm. um, and then once that's ready we then put it into big meat lugs there are some stacked over there the red ones over there mm -hmm. um, and then from there we take the the mixed sausage put it in the stuffer and, and right right forward. and the way we test it is we'll take um actually a small ball of it sort of like the size of a hamburger patty and fry it in a frying pan upstairs exactly. um, yes. to test it um, at home the way I test my sausages in the microwave we don't have a microwave at the restaurant but right. using like a little you get like a little quarter sized amount of it put it on a plate and microwave yeah. it for like 10 seconds and that's an easy way to taste raw meat mixtures to make sure that they're seasoned the way you like them yeah and actually microwave uh, works really well because of the the challenge with cooking a sample in a skillet is that the Maillard reaction and like this, the salt and the sugars kind of caramelize. Right, so the flavor's um, not exactly so, the same. Yeah, so it's hard to gauge the flavor sometimes. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're good at it, but uh, <laughs> microwave is best. All right, yeah. and then down, okay. now to the beginning. So um, before it goes into the mixer, the sausage goes through the grinder, which is yes. here. Do you want to show us quickly how you put this together and what the parts are? Yeah, so we've got the, the grinder kind of body here, and we've got a motor right here, and um, a worm gear, okay, stick that in, okay, um, and then you've got a series, you've got a knife, a grinder knife mm -hmm. at the front there, and a series of grinder plates. So that fits over the end here. That's right. Um, and and we, you keep it in rice to, um, to keep the moisture out of those um, plates because they can rust, Correct. Right? Yes, yes. So we, uh, it's something that I that I do at home and here as well. And mm -hmm. it, um, these grinder plates get a lot of use and they're they're quite, they're at least a couple of years old now and they look brand new. Mm -hmm. And keeping them clean, of course, and then keeping them in rice is a good way to ensure that they'll last a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so and they come in various sizes. That's right, yeah. Yeah. What, so, what size do you generally do for your sausages? So for all the sausages right now, um, we have two sizes. So we have um, we have this, which I think is a it's a ten, 10 millimeter, millimeter, right? Mm -hmm. And this one is a six millimeter. Mm -hmm. So all of each of our recipes specifies, you know, what percentage of meat that we're going to grind through the small die and right. then which which we're grinding through the big and so die. It's a, it's a mix of two different grind sizes um, right. so that you get that sort of textural contrast mm -hmm. and yeah. so some of it binds some of it adds little meatier chunks um, it's all it's all carefully calibrated carefully calibrated for right. flavor yeah. exactly and we always grind through the fine die first while everything's nice and cold so mm -hmm. one thing that you're not seeing in this video is that if we were grinding this would have been in the freezer, right? Right, for at least an hour. Because heat, heat is the enemy of exactly. good sausage. You know, even though this uh, this is a very good grinder and it, it does isolate most of the heat in the body of the grinder, um, it does generate heat. You mm -hmm. know, just the friction about, of move, right, heat moving through. Yeah, we're making hundreds, you know, uh, up to a hundred pounds of, of sausage in one go, and, mm -hmm. and things warm up. So here's the feed tray, fits right on here. Right, and there's your grinder. That's it. Um, we ended up adding a foot pedal to this. So, That's very cool. Yeah. Um, and and it really helps us keep the grinder from overheating. Right. right? So that you don't run it when it doesn't yeah, need to so, be. Yeah. Running, yeah. So you can run this thing continuously if you want, but it's going to generate heat. Yep. Um, and so having the foot pedal does help us control cool. that quite a lot. Uh, do we want to take? Why don't we take one quick look in the walk-in at the at the meat we're using? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we've got. Because the very first step of sausage is, is yes. mm -hmm. trimming and right. curing the meat. Yep. So, in the spirit of going backwards in time, let's start here. Okay. So, we, this is beef. We're actually, this is beef for burgers. And so, we trimmed this um, and sealed it in bags. We're going to grind a lot of this over the weekend. For the burgers. So, it's all kind of set up there. Um, and then we've got fat, uh, back fat, uh, really nice back fat that we get. Um, and that too is, is uh, sealed up. And so our sausage is 
comprises basically what comprises our sausage or uh, pork for pork is pork shoulder and back fat. It's a combination of those. Mm -hmm. um, and we also make sausage with beef, of course, and with chicken. Cool. Well. But right now, what's in uh, the walk in you're seeing are, are those. Oh, and we also have vegan yes, sausage. This is our vegan sausage, which is made yes. with. Um, impossible meat um, that we season and uh, combine with a, um, a flaxseed slurry yep. which helps it retain moisture um, and then uh, that stuff we um, we pack it into those vegan cellulose casing uh, and vegan casings and then um, uh, par cook them yes actually and then with, fry what them we're order. doing now for casings is actually using plastic casings. oh those are plastic so we we cook them in plastic casing that's right um, peel and, them off yeah peel them off and then actually finish them in a deep fryer um and that provides that kind of texture crispy, a little bit yeah of that light. crispy crunch on yeah, that side yeah, that you don't yeah. that you get with natural casing sausages but yeah. not with the vegan sausages yeah so it's not quite a ripper right as right they right call it, but, <laughs> but it is it is kind of that that, that, that approach yeah all right, everyone. Um, I hope that was interesting for you. Um, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Eric. Oh, Thank you, Hermes. My pleasure. <laughs> All right, thanks All for right. stopping by. All right, see you later, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.